If you could summarize every movie in a director's filmography with a single shot, Leone would be the close-up. It's his trademark. A Leone close-up is instantly recognizable from the hard lines etched into the actors' faces, the sweat beating up on their forehead, and the focus on the eyes. Leone uses the close-up so frequently that, while I was working on the landscape of the face, I started to wonder, just how much time does he spend in close-up? Leone's first, and most unremarkable movie, The Colossus of Rhodes, has a total runtime of 127 minutes. There's only one minute and 15 seconds of close-ups. The film just hints at who the director will become. From 1964 to 66, Leone made the Dollars trilogy. A Fistful of Dollars is the shortest of the three. It includes 7 minutes and 40 seconds of close-ups out of an hour 40 runtime. For a few dollars more has 19 minutes worth out of 2 hours 12 minutes. And The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, which falls just short of 3 hours, has 29 minutes and 40 seconds of close-ups. Just about 17% of The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly is sweaty, staring faces. The Dollars Trilogy is where Sergio Leone became Sergio Leone and made some of the greatest movies of the 20th century. Once Upon a Time in the West followed up in 1968. Clocking in at 2 hours and 45 minutes, Leone unapologetically includes 40 minutes and 35 seconds of close-ups. That is nearly 25% of the film. A quarter of the whole movie is just close-ups. In 1971, Leone's westerns ended with the very sweet and unrecognized Duck You Sucker. It's only 2 hours and 18 minutes long, but it has 38 minutes of close-ups. With 27.5% of the movie being close-ups, it is the most unashamedly Leone movie of them all. Thirteen years after Ducky Sucker, he returned with Once Upon a Time in America, which could have been much longer, but was distributed with a 3 hour and 49 minute runtime. In his final film, Leone includes 33 minutes and 20 seconds of close-ups. So how much of Sergio Leone's movies were just close-up? 169 minutes and 30 seconds. Nearly three hours of Leone's filmography is dirty, sweaty, hardened faces. If all his close-ups were combined into one movie, it would run just longer than Once Upon a Time in the West. The close-up is his trademark. It is his storytelling. It is Sergio Leone. Thanks for watching my breakdown of Leone's unabashed use of the close-up. If you'd like to watch a supercut of the best Leone close-ups, check out part one, The Landscape of the Face. And if you'd like to see every single close-up he shot, check out part three.